Yo, it is good YouTube and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we are going to be doing gameplay with the brand new pink diamond, George Niang. I know this is not one of the most hyped up cards from this Bracket Busters drop, but I do think he actually has the potential to be a really, really solid small forward. A lot of versatility, a lot of switchability defensively. Elite shooter. Hopefully pretty good animations. We'll see. Um, looks like a pretty good card on paper, though, so I at least want to give him a try. See what we think of Mr. Niang. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day tons of consistent daily my team content would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it mr niang is excuse me six foot seven uh 99 offense 93 defense with a 95 um post game 94 driving layup 96 mid-range 96 three ball 96 free throw 85 standing and driving dunk 88 six ball handle 90 pass sack defensively the stats aren't insane but they're not terrible uh, 86 speed 85 speed ball 85 excel is a little slow 84 vert is an amazing but 95 strength 83 lateral kids again the stats defensively aren't great but badge wise he's pretty darn good he's got uh hoff back down punisher giant slayer master postman poster as a rise of agent three blinders catch and shoot corner specialist dead eye limitless range and then anchor post lockdown box up his brick wall um immovable enforcer like really good interior defensive badges which honestly is kind of a big w because that provides some value to the card he's not the greatest perimeter defender in the world i understand uh gold perimeter defensive badges like challenger clamps glove interceptor pick dodger that type of badge uh, but not a bad card at all on paper has every defensive badge in the game on at least gold pretty complete offensively now he's missing handles for days definitely want to add that and speed booster those two are very very important so if you do actually decide you want to use this George Niang card, definitely would say you want to add those badges. At the same time, I'll just say right now, if you have him at small forward, he's not on the level of like um, a free James Worthy or a free Dennis Rodman or a pink diamond Tyrus Thomas who you can buy. Like his SIGs are not elite. Uh, animation wise, it looks like he's got D-Books dribble style or D-Books um, escape, I should say, which is not an amazing one. Release is very good. Very, very nice release. Honestly, nice uh, dribble style too. I think he's got brawn dribble style, which has a good push cross, one that I'm a fan of so that's not bad either his escape just isn't amazing neither is his behind the back his release is good but he just doesn't have enough sigs in my opinion to really be an elite level card definitely not a bad option at the uh small forward position but i just don't think he's gonna be like top top tier release is smooth but it's not like unbelievably fast either i, I like the card he looks okay he's gonna be a good threat as a shooter he's a really good interior defender like not a bad card he's not a liability out there by any means but he's not huge he's not a great shot creator he's not the most elite defender especially on the perimeter like the card certainly could be better so i don't know i think it's i don't think he's gonna be amazing but i think he could also potentially pop off because he's a great shooter so he could easily have a 15 point gameplay and definitely be a super solid card so let's hop into a game let's see what george nian can do all right our opponent has harden wiggins rodman worthy bunch of free cards tyson chandler really good free team honestly credit to him honestly for building a good free squad um that was terrible passing by me and we are not going to chase that down unfortunately with d rob so definitely not the possession starter or game starter i should say that we were looking for uh attack the rim here with brandon miller hop step through he definitely did not hop step this is not a matchup that i like in the slightest but because i'm doing a george nian gameplay i'm still going to try to attack it we're fading as far away from dennis rodman as we possibly can and unfortunately Unfortunately, maybe I should try to get my feet set because uh, did not manage to knock down that fade. I didn't really try his fade out in freestyle, so that's on me. But let's run the floor, throw it over to Niang. His best attribute is obviously his shooting ability. So if we can get to that ram, um, I think that might be a surprise. There we go. Back out to Akeem. He's open. He's too open. That should be green. Let's go. Beautiful stuff. Nice, easy jump shot. Akeem knocks it down, and George Niang gets his first assist. So not a terrible start to the game at all. Now, let's space and uh, let's attack down or we just got a guard honestly um he's running a basic play i've seen this play since 2k19 we're chilling we know there's somebody coming here we know he's gonna dribble drive there's gonna be another screen and um nothing's open so it didn't even like he didn't even finish get to finish the play somehow doesn't matter nothing was open but he's just able to run right through my d rob run around d rob like he's not there and there you go we give up points unfortunately regardless um george niang now can you attack a guy like uh james harden apparently you can attack off the dribble he doesn't have speed booster or handles for days and he still gets to the rim and finishes love to see that very very nice job mr niang that was almost a foul i think that was gonna be a foul if he actually went up with it with worthy but he didn't bad decision because i get a wide open three out of it and if there's one thing george niang can truly do it's hit the three ball he's got five points and an assist right now and actually is playing very well so i'm lucky he didn't go up with that because that was a five point swing literally that he didn't recognize that animation was a foul animation and go up with it anyway by the way it's incredibly sad how animation dependent um fouls are this year like I don't even know how you code that, but I feel like it's coded worse than it's ever been when it comes to fouls. Like, the whistle badge matters way too much. 
I don't even know if the whistle badge should be a badge. I understand it's kind of a thing in real life. Like, there are good pal baiters and not. But, like, that's also one of those things that I don't love about real-life basketball. So, I don't know. I don't think free throws need to be the way they are in this year's game, unfortunately. But attack downhill. Try to hit our pop. He's not helping off the pop at all. I'm going to have to just pass the ball, I think. We'll take our dump down to Akeem. And he should stand and dunk this. Yep. Got good positioning. Got a nice little shove animation. Tyson's a great defender. But I got inside position with a dog in Akeem Olajuwon. We go up and get ourselves a dunk. Love to see it. Um, play the blow by there. Jump with Mr. Look at that. Hoff Anchor. Love to see it. George Niang. He can guard on the interior. If there's one area on the court he's going to be hooping, it's going to be on the inside. Interestingly enough, what an animation for James Worthy, honestly. He just, he just animated his butt off. But you know, I didn't even animate there with Kakeem, and I still got the steal. Just did a good job of putting myself in the right position. Same side burst. Brandon Miller to the rim. Hit it outside. I think I got normal fade. I don't really honestly remember, so we're going to figure it out. Here we go. Shoot it, and that is normal fade. Did I green it? No, I did not. I got slowed down by an open contest. That is so crazy. Not even a legit contest, and I still get slowed down. Like That's garbage. Cut him off. Stay in front. Guard the dribble drive. George Niang, show off the interior dribbling or interior defense, I should sorry. And again, he cuts off the dribble drive, doesn't give anything up on the inside, and forces a steal. Love to see that. Attack this side of the court, get inside, back out to a pop, catch. Uh, same side burst and attack downhill. It's just he's hard off balling. Ugh, they call a charge on me too instead of a. How does he get free throws off of that? I, that is not how that works in real life. I don't clutch time's a different mode, I know, but an offense that, that what? Okay, that's garbage. That is garbage. That's like the game's wrong. That that is coded wrong or whatever. I don't he should not get free throws for that. I don't know if that was a charge on me, period, but he definitely shouldn't get free throws for it. Wide open, four pointer. Let's go. You need to not pause me. Guard George Niang. He's a shooter. And George Niang knocks down the deep four pointer. That's a huge freaking shot, too. Contest Wiggs. Get back to Harden. Good job. Very nice defense. Rotation. Contest. We play the corner. We're rotating. We're playing the dribble drive. Help here. Not a mismatch. Oh, my gosh. And Reeves gets stuck. He has no offensive skill. He's running around in circles and his players are just getting me stuck like oh my lord that was horrible offense hit our pop again guard freaking george niang you're gonna okay i sold i sold i missed wide open i sold i sold can we step up defensively and make a play george niang is a hooper on d bro the, having him have an interior defense actually like seems to make him pretty tough this dude has no idea what he's doing he's just trying to run around run through my body and get me stuck run around in a circle again hope that i get stuck go up with some terrible oh my gosh why does the CPU not contest? I am on Akeem there, but since I am not on George Niang, apparently he just doesn't put his arm up to contest. He just stands there and watches James Harden flip it over his face. Like, explain that. To, and I tried to hit it out to the pot, but I guess I'll take the standing duck. It just that doesn't make sense to me. I don't, I don't know. I'm not trying to complain too much, but that doesn't make sense to me. That just feels wrong that that's how that just worked. I don't know. It is what it is. We're up two points, 24 seconds left, basically one stop here, and we pretty much win the game. So that's pretty simple. Just going to have to do a better job defensively than we've been doing for most of this game, to be honest. Uh, get a little bit more size out on Harden. Make him do something here. Uh, and instead, I get a wide open three anyway. Didn't get through the screen in time. Any greens? A good shot. I'll give credit where it's due on that one. That's a good shot. If I green my wide open three, we'd be winning this game anyway. So, you know what? I can't complain too much when I've missed my own opportunities to win the game. But um, can you slip behind him? Well, he did just slip behind him. Oh, get to the corner. Catch, shoot. Come on, Reeves. Let's freaking go. That is huge. Oh, my goodness. Retake the lead. That might have also given George Niang takeover, which helps him out a little bit on the defensive end. It definitely helps him out on the offensive end if our opponent scores here. Just don't give up a game-winning three, basically, is, is, the, is the motto at this point. You know what? It's George Niang's job to not give up the... Okay, we just gave up a dunk instead. Well, you know what that gives us an opportunity at? That gives us an opportunity for the game winning three. 19 and 19. I guess it doesn't have to be a three ball. This dude is definitely going to expect a George Niang pick and pop here because I've been going to that all game. I'm going pick and roll here, and we're going to try to big brain this and see if we can get George Niang some sort of game ending dunk. Um, come set me a screen. Same side burst. Slip the screen early. Get inside. Standing dunk. Come on, George. Let's freaking go. That is so smart right there. And we get inside for the dunk. Slipped just a step behind worthy and that is all that we needed 1.5 seconds left contest he didn't have a timeout and we win the game let's freaking go beautiful job 11 points three assists four seven two or three from three like i said he can definitely compete very very solid card maybe wish he was a little faster maybe wish he uh had a little bit more perimeter defense but overall he played well defensively and he's a good card knocked down shots i missed one wide open that was on me but overall very good performance by george niang and he was a huge reason we won that game i was pretty impressed hope you all did enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe 
I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.